Hi, I'm Jeff, Head of Design here at Career Foundry and Voice UI Enthusiast. Today I'm going to discuss one of the most exciting technologies of our time, the Voice User Interface. In this video, I'll take a look at the state of voice technology now and talk about where it could be headed in the future. How is voice technology transforming our lives? And what kind of things are we using it for? And how will this change in years to come? I'll explore the role that designers have to play and show how you can get involved. So what is voice technology? Simply put, it's the technology that enables you to complete certain actions using just your voice. Rather than say typing a search query into Google, you can just say, hey Google, into your smartphone. So if you're looking for somewhere to eat, you might say, hey Google, find me a tapas restaurant in Berlin. You might also be familiar with Siri, the voice assistant that comes as part of the iPhone hardware. Then of course, there are the increasingly popular standalone voice assistants, the likes of Amazon Echo and Google Home. These are all examples of voice user interfaces. So a voice user interface, or VUI, is the interface through which you can communicate with the machine using just your voice, no hands or eyes required. Voice technology is on the rise and pretty fast. The Amazon Echo came along in 2014 and it's been the main competitor in VUIs ever since. Over the years, the design has gotten smaller and more compact, giving us the Echo Dot. Now to give you an idea of just how popular these devices have become in such a short space of time, let me point out that the Echo Dot was the best-selling product on Amazon during the 2017 holiday season. Likewise, Google Voice Search was launched in 2009, and within two short years of its release, it accounted for 20% of all searches on Google. So where are we at today? Well, as of January 2018, it was estimated that there are over 1 billion voice searches carried out per month. At the same time, Comscore predicts that by the year 2020, 50% of all searches carried out will be voice searches. According to VoiceBot.ai, 47.3 million adults in the US have access to a smart speaker. That's almost one in five adults. But that's enough statistics. Let's consider why voice technology is so popular and so crucial. When it comes to technology, or anything for that matter, the easier the user experience, the better. The more we want to engage with it, and the keener we are to repeat the experience. It's no surprise then that we're embracing voice tech with such open arms. Voice is a much more natural way of communicating and interacting. As a rule, we can speak faster than we can type. It eliminates the need for screens, for keyboards, for hands and eyes. It's just easy. Voice technology is also a big deal for visually impaired users, of which there are about 7 million in the USA alone. That's a huge market for voice user interfaces in just one country. As voice technology advances, these user groups can access technology much more easily than has previously been possible. With all that said, Voice user interfaces have a long way to go. I personally have an Amazon Echo Dot, and I speak from experience when I say that it definitely hasn't reached its full potential just yet. For one, the interactions feel a bit flat. This is because we're still in what's known as the command and control stage. As a user, you have to explicitly indicate when I want to speak. I have to give a command to wake the smart assistant up as well. On top of that, the communication is closed. It's limited to one question and one answer. It doesn't flow back and forth like a normal human conversation. I'd compare it to the experience of tapping away on an old school phone, maybe even with a stylus. Another concern that people have is, what if people are listening? The idea of having a constantly switched on microphone in your home can be scary. So how do we overcome these challenges? To take voice UIs from mediocre to magical, we need to make interactions more natural and conversational. In an ideal world, the user isn't required to indicate when they want to talk. They just talk. The VUIs of the future will also need to be capable of longer interactions. Ideally, they will remember what you've said and be able to carry on the conversation beyond a simple one question, one answer scenario. As of today, no one has designed a conversational VUI. And that's one of the biggest challenges on the horizon. As for the privacy concern, it's a case of changing the way that people think about these products. If you think about the average smartphone, you've got two cameras, one microphone, and a built-in GPS. So there's really no reason why smart voice assistants should pose any more of a privacy risk than the phones we use every day. Regardless of this logic, this is a user concern that needs to be addressed. As we have seen, it's not a question of if voice technology will be a part of our lives, but rather of how. And UX designers can shape this. 
We have a huge role to play in taking DOIs mainstream and making sure they reach their full potential. If you're as fascinated about voice technology as I am and want to have a hand in designing the DOIs of the future, you'll need to learn some pretty specific skills. Voice design is steeped quite heavily in UX design principles, but of course, it's very different to designing for screens. Some of the key things you'll need to master include personas, user stories, and user flows for voice, context and memory in voice design, usability testing, multimodal interactions, and accessibility and safety. Sounds overwhelming, right? Here at Career Foundry, we've written our voice user interface design course in collaboration with Amazon Alexa, with all of these skills in mind. Check it out, or head on over to the blog to find out more about voice design and how it's changing our lives.